Hey, it's Rohani, and today we're going to be talking about Tesla. Cue the montage. No, 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 no. Cue the other Tesla montage. Oh, yeah. So this contraption here is called the Tesla coil. Before I get into how I made it, how it works, why it's important, quick history lesson. Nikola Tesla was a Serbian inventor who came up with the idea of wireless energy transfer. He wirelessly lit up a bulb in the year 1891. A genius. So obviously this isn't a novel idea. It's been around for a while and Tesla did try to scale it. His dream was to send wireless power over long distances using the earth. So in 1901, he built this tower in Long Island called the Warden Cliff Tower. He wanted to use the tower to harness the energy that he believed was inside of the earth and turn our planet into a gigantic dynamo. The tower would take energy from a coal-powered generator and set it deep into the earth using a metal rod. He thought that the earth's crust would be able to transport energy, but the tower was taken down in 1917 and was never finished. What he did finish though was his very first version of the tower, his demonstration of the Tesla coil. Let's take a look at it now. So as I was building the Tesla coil, I decided to film so I could demonstrate exactly what I did. So the first thing I did was tape a transistor to the baseboard. I pre-wound the copper wire around a piece of tubing and here I am just gluing it also to the board. And to the left, in the top left corner, you can see the switch. Now I'm soldering a piece of resistance to the transistor. And this red wiring here is actually going to act as the primary coil. And I'll explain what these rules are later, but this primary coil needs to stay relatively close to the copper wiring, which is the secondary coil. And now just to complete the circuit, I'm soldering other parts of the wiring together. And finally, I'll go ahead and add the battery. It took a little bit of arm grease for me to get it in there, but I did. All right, so I went ahead and switched on, turned the lights off in the room, and grabbed myself a light bulb. So this is a diagram of exactly what it is that I made, if you prefer this version over the video. Now let's look at exactly how it works. The Tesla coil runs on the principle of electromagnetic induction. This concept was conceived by a man named Michael Faraday in the mid 1800s. When electrical current moves through a wire, it creates a circular magnetic field around the wire. This is why the Tesla coil has a primary and secondary coil. Bending the wire actually amplifies this magnetic field. So the more coils there are, the bigger the magnetic field gets. If you put a second coil or conductor within the realm of the magnetic field, the field could actually induce a current in the second coil of wire. Michael Faraday was the one to say that a magnetic field can induce an electrical current under circumstances where the magnetic field changes with time. In other words, when the magnetic field is not constant. He describes this with Faraday's law of induction. This states that a changing magnetic field will induce an electromotive force in a loop of wire. Electromotive force, or EMF for short, is what causes electrons to move and form a current. Induction is the creation of a voltage difference across a conductive material by exposing it to a changing magnetic field. A process through which magnetism or electricity is passed between two objects without physical contact. After the Tesla coil worked, Nikola Tesla built a larger version called the magnifying transmitter in Colorado Springs. This version lit up three incandescent bulbs at a distance of 100 feet. 
That's about 30 meters. But one night, the magnifying transmitter overloaded and burnt down. It actually caused a power outage in the town. A few years later, Nikola Tesla proposed an even larger version of the magnifying transmitter, which we now know to have been the Wardenclyffe Tower in New York. But why is the Tesla coil important? Well, in the early 20th century, the principles that Nikola Tesla used and applied within the Tesla coil were used for so many other things. Just some examples are radios, entertainment, electroshock therapy, though that may not have been the best one. Even though we now have way better circuitry, Nikola Tesla was a huge pioneer in the field, and he shed a ton of light on the potential implications of this here invention. Anyways, I hope you've learned something today. And as always, you can check out all of my projects on my personal website, rohaniwalia.com. Till next time. <laughs>